and today is going to be my July wrap up and August goals video. I'm going to combine them because I did pretty well on my goals for last month. The only things I still need to do is I still need to go check out our pool at our gym and also check out the childcare at our gym. I just didn't go to the gym at all this month. We did end up taking Olivia to the pool and then when we were on vacation we took her to a different pool and also the beach. So she's definitely checked out the water. She loves the water. She's been loving bath time lately. I hope to start her in swim lessons at six months. So the water's not an issue. She loves the water so far. So that is good, but I still wanna go check out our gym. Um, coming up soon, hopefully this month. Just depends on what's going on. It seems like since we've been back from our vacation, it's been go, go, go. And even like the week leading up to the vacation was rough. Um, so this is just kind of like a wrap up of everything. I posted one of my VEDA videos. I told you guys I deleted a ton of video footage. I deleted, I think, like six videos and it was killer. And I'm just now starting to try to catch up again, get things caught up. Um, so our vacation was awesome. We went to South Carolina and North Carolina and that's where my husband's family is from. So we got to see all the great grandparents of Olivia and then his parents came there too, so her grandparents. We also saw aunts and uncles, and it was really nice to see everybody. Again, it's been a while since we've seen them last, and of course, they got to meet Olivia, which is great. Um, they absolutely adore her, and it's just so heartwarming to um, see her with her family. And we did lots of photos. So I've gotta go through all those photos coming up soon. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited we got to capture some special moments with them, um, especially since we don't see them very often. They're pretty far away. So yeah, my July goals went pretty well. I've done a lot better about sugar, except on our vacation. I ate tons of sugar while we were there. We just pigged out the whole vacation pretty much. Um, and then, let's see, what else? I've started going to bed a lot earlier. Olivia has been going to bed a lot earlier. Her bedtime now is seven o'clock and she's usually asleep around right at seven o'clock. It's been great. She wakes up around 7.45 to eight, some mornings a little bit earlier. <laughs> Hardly ever later though, unfortunately. Um, although I say that and today she did sleep in late. She slept until 8.45 today, which is, way rare. As you guys can see, I'm doing VEDA this month. I know this goals video is really late. So by the time this video actually gets edited and posted, the month's gonna be half over, but I still wanted to get this video done um, just to kind of keep myself accountable and just to talk with you guys. I really appreciated all your comments this month and I hope you guys like the new grocery haul way of doing things. I think it's gonna be really nice to be able to just see the groceries and the meal plan and then what actually ends up being made so you guys can um, so you guys can grab ideas from that, take video recipes from that, and hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration in the kitchen. I know meal planning and cooking is not very exciting for a lot of people, so just seeing other people's stuff can be inspiring and it kind of gets your creative juices flowing. And Olivia's waking up. I like to post those. I do like to cook and I actually, I guess I'm a weirdo. I love going to the grocery store. Um, since been, Olivia's been born, usually it's my husband going or we all three go and I just love going to the grocery store. So lately she and I have been going by ourselves. She just sits in the top thing of the shopping cart and she's so cute and she loves looking around. And it's been a lot nicer just her and I going and spending a little bit of time at the grocery store. I just, I don't know, I love food. I love grocery shopping. So Olivia's waking up, so I gotta go through my goals really quick. Hopefully I can get this video done. So I really, um, one of the goals I fell completely down on was crafty time. I'd wanted to do crafty time every weekday. Totally didn't happen, especially towards the end of the month. So this month, it's again, my goal is to do crafty time. And so far I'm doing okay at it. Not the best, but I still wanna try to do it every weekday. I just wanna make myself a priority a little bit more and that's one way I can do that. Then I also wanna do a no spend challenge and I went to Target one time so far this month and the rest of the time I have not gone. Last month I went to Target like four times and spent a lot at Target. It just seems like we always need something but every time I go to Target I get way more than just what's on my shopping list. So I'm really bad about that. So this month I'm gonna to try to not spend any money except one exception to that, I want to get all the child-proofing stuff, 
Olivia is sitting up now and she is also um, flinging herself forward trying to get crawling so I know it's going to be soon. I just want to go ahead and get the childproofing done so that we're ready for when she does start crawling uh, because it's going to happen soon and I just want to be ready for it. I don't want to be scrambling at the last minute to do that. And the other goal I have as far as baby stuff is um, start solids. And as of filming this, we have already started solids. We started two days ago. I'd love to know if you guys had July goals, how well you did on those, and what are your August goals? I'd love to keep each other accountable on this. So hopefully I will have my September goals video up at the beginning of September, not in the middle like this August one's going up. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like making goals for yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.